All right, y'all, it's finally here. What is up, FG fam? Madden 22 has finally dropped, putting out a quick surprise video for you right now, letting you guys take a look, and we are going to find out who Madden is going to choose to make this year's Super Bowl. I am going to go ahead, and we are going to, for, you know, the sake of this video... No, we're not going to use her the Dolphins. For the sake of this video, we're going to use her the Jets. Because let's all be real. They really don't have a chance of uh, making the playoffs. Let's be real about that, right? I mean, even Jets fans can kind of be real about that. We're going to auto pretty much everything. We're not going to really care about pretty much anything in this. As, far, as long as we got everything we need, that's what we're going to do. Starting point is going to be the regular season. And we will... We're going to go with no injuries. We're going to go if there was no injuries, what would end up happening? So I don't want injuries to ha affect who Madden would predict to win the Super Bowl. This could be a very predictable video, but you know what? It's always a video that gets done by so many YouTubers. So why not me jump on the bandwagon this time and go ahead and get this out? As a franchise type of guy, I'd be very interested to see who the franchise favorites are this season. So let's sim to the playoffs and see how that looks. <laughs> All right, if you're a Jets fan and you're wondering, here's Zach Wilson's rookie year. 3,400 yards, 26 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Michael Carter's rookie year, 840 yards, 6 touchdowns. Josh Adams gets 12 touchdowns. Pretty good backup numbers. Jameson Crowder leads the team with 980 yards. Then you have Christopher Herndon, then Corey Davis. So very, very disappointing if you're expecting Corey Davis to do a whole lot Morgan Moses and Mackay Becton give up 10 sacks apiece Blake Cashman 129 tackles 126 for Mosley 10 sacks for Carl Lawson knew he'd be a big pickup for this team three picks for Mosley two for Bryce Hall and two for Marcus May if you want to know who led the league let's take a look at that right quick Go all the way to the NFL portion of this stat line. And Tom Brady, of course, leads the league in yards. Matt Ryan, number two. Pat Mahomes, number three. Touchdown-wise, though, Pat Mahomes with 52 touchdowns and only seven interceptions. A monster year from him. Derrick Henry again wins the rushing title. 1859, almost 2K, getting pretty close. Calvin Ridley leads the league in receiving yards with nine touchdowns. Devontae Adams has a great year, 1,214 TDs. Mike Evans, Mr. Consistent. Antonio Brown throws up a 1,000-yard season. That's a little interesting. Michael Thomas, D-Hop, Randall Cobb, Demarcus Robinson, of all people. Russell Gage and Stephon Diggs all putting up 1,000-yard seasons as well. Over on defense, anything ridiculous with sacks? Oh, my goodness. 26 and a half for Aaron Donald. 23 for Khalil Mack. He also had a pick. Seven picks for Ricardo Allen, of all people. So, yeah, they're, that's pretty cool. Let's go to awards. So if Madden's predicting the yearly awards, there you go. Alvin Kamara is your MVP over Pat Mahomes. I, I don't understand it. Sam Darnold gets an MVP mention here. Coach of the year, Matt Rule. So they're liking the Panthers. Pat Mahomes for Offensive Player of the Year, AFC. Von Miller for Defensive. Trevor Lawrence for Offensive Rookie, Jeremiah Wosu Karamoa. Of the Browns for Defensive Rookie of the Year, Pat Mahomes, best quarterback. Joe Mixon for running back to Marcus Robinson for best receiver. Mitchell Schwartz signs back with the Chiefs, even though he's a free agent in this game, and he makes best O-lineman. Miles Garrett for D-line. Von Miller for linebacker, and Ricardo Allen for DB. Steven Guskowski of the Bengals for best kicker. In the NFC, Kamara, offensive player. Khalil Mack, defensive player. Justin Fields, offensive rookie. Zaven Collins for defensive rookie. Sam Darnold wins best quarterback in the NFC. Crazy. 
Alvin Kamara for running back, Devontae Adams for wideout, Zach Martin O-line, Aaron Donald D-line, Khalil Mack linebacker, Harrison Smith for DB, and Michael Bagley for a kicker. Final standings on the season. The Browns win the AFC North at 12 and 5. Bengals and Ravens both make the playoffs at 10 and 7. In the South, the Titans go 14 and 3. Texans go 9 and 8. They do make the playoffs, of course, with Deshaun Watson in this universe. Bills win the AFC East. They go 9 and 8 to do it. Chiefs win the entire AFC at 14 and 3 and win the West by a landslide in the NFC. The Vikings win the North at 10 and 7. Packers still make the playoffs at 9 and 8. Panthers kill the South at 13 and 4. The Falcons make the playoffs at 9 and 8. What in the world is going on? The Bucks and Saints both miss. Cowboys win the East at 11 and 6. Giants make it at 10 and 7. 49ers win the West at 10 and 7. None of these other teams make it, and it's almost certain in real life that one of those teams is going to make a wild card push. But let's see how the playoffs look. So, this is how the playoff bracket shapes up. Here are your games Titans will host the rival Texans, Browns will host the rival Ravens, and the Bills will host the Bengals. Over in the NFC side, the Cowboys will host the Packers, Vikings will host the Falcons, and the 49ers will host the Giants. Let's see how this ends up playing out. So we advance a week. The Texans pull off a 23-17 upset. The Browns kill the Ravens, and the Bengals with a stomping of the Bills. 49ers stop the Giants, the Falcons with a big road win in Minnesota, and the Packers in a tight one in Dallas. So that leaves us with Chiefs, Texans, Browns, Bengals, Panthers, Packers, and 49ers, Falcons. I gotta say, this is not what I was expecting. So in the divisional, it is the Chiefs with a big 45-21 win. The Browns get a tight win against the rival Bengals to make it a Chiefs-Browns AFC title game. I can actually see that happening. The Packers do get a huge win on the road in Carolina, and the 49ers take care of business against the Falcons to give me an NFC championship that I can actually see happening, but I would still go with the Bucks. So in those title games, it's the Chiefs 42-21 to make it to the Super Bowl and the 49ers get a very tight win against the Packers to make it a repeat Super Bowl of a couple of seasons ago in the Chiefs and the 49ers. We'll definitely get that result in a second, but let's take a look at some of these Pro Bowlers. Sam Darnold, a Pro Bowl starter. You love to kind of see that. That's very interesting. Good to see Saquon make the uh, the Pro Bowl after having an injury-riddled season last year. That's cool to see. Antonio Clown and Rob Gronkowski, you know, that's kind of typical for this. But Kyle Pitts making it as a rookie is pretty darn cool. You love to see those kind of things, of course. Cam Jordan, Aaron Donald, going to definitely make it. That's almost a foregone conclusion. There's Khalil Mack, Shaq Barrett. Hassan Reddick is a good name to see there as well. A.J. Bouye, good to see him getting back to some good play. Pat Pete, good to see him getting there. Not sure if that's a little EA bias. Probably is. Antoine Winfield Jr., Jamal Adams gets in there. So a lot of good guys getting in there. Hawkins, nice to see him in there returning for the Falcons. So the Super Bowl is won by the Chiefs. So it seems as though if the Chiefs play the 49ers in the Super Bowl, they can't be beat. But if they play the Bucks, well, that's their kryptonite. I don't know. Do you guys agree? Do you guys think this is a plausible Super Bowl? Would you guys predict this Super Bowl to be what it is that is what ea thinks that is what madden 22 thinks at the current time under these circumstances i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see some more little madden experiments let me know some ideas in the comment section below maybe we'll do a couple of those 
along the way. So I appreciate you guys. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of all things franchise because that is what this channel is built around, franchise in all sports. And if you're already a part of the channel with a subscription, make sure you go in the Discord in the description below and check out the Discord. Check out the Twitch channel. Come hang out outside of just YouTube. Come talk to me on a Twitch stream. Come Hang out in voice chats in the Discord. We're always having a fun time. Guys are always getting together, playing games with one another, whether it be sports games or whether it be games like Fortnite or or uh, Fall Guys or any of that kind of stuff. Among Us parties in uh, our Discord and stuff like that. So if you want to be a part of that, you want to be a part of something a little bit bigger, check out the description below. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you want to see some more franchise, make sure you click right here to see some more franchise. I feel you face somehow.